This is where my mother is from, the province of Homs in Syria. But I don't recognize any of these places and I don't remember any of these people. I really don't remember it this way. I remember it this way. My first visit to Homs was during the summer of 2004. I travelled there from Australia with my Syrian-born mother, who last saw her hometown as a young teenage girl during the 60s. We went there to relive her early life and reconnect family ties that had been strained by distance, worlds and time. I remember being struck by the loving and selfless hearts of people there. Homs was like a big heart. And its affection for family and community made me return several times before the war of 2011. Because there was always a celebration, a joyous, life-giving occasion that made us dance. And as we had danced, we sung and clapped throughout the different towns. I always loved that Homs had a traditional oriental feel, yet the city was always energetic, lightly dancing with a refreshing happiness that I couldn't seem to find anywhere else. Life there was really about people, it was about friendship and natural ways of living. I loved that hearts were still pure and raw like the farms surrounding the city. Perhaps Homs had things that were lost in corporate career-driven Sydney, the city where I had grown up conforming to fast and modern ways of living. But the people of Homs were different. 
they still had a charming, sincere innocence about them, very much like the kids that they were raising. But the same kids in Homs seem to have lost all of their innocence in these unforgiving circumstances. I can't imagine what this destruction, trauma and heartache has done to their little hearts. I don't know if I will ever see them again, or whether I'll be able to return to Homs for another visit. And if I did, I'm not sure I'll be able to recognize the places or faces who brought me so much joy, connection and wholeness into my life. I wonder if the people there would even recognize me. Would they know that I am a daughter of Homs? Would they still call me Bent Arab, daughter of Syria, daughter of Arabia? Would the heart of Homs embrace me, welcome me and love me like it did many times before? Or has the heart of Homs hardened so much by this tragedy that seems to have no end?